Hey, what's going on everyone? Um, back with another tea talk here. Um, just getting over COVID, so I'm sorry if my voice is a little weird or a little hoarse. Um, but I just got some uh, tea in the mail today, so I wanted to share it with you, uh, especially because it's a, it's a little bit uh, more rare of a tea that I got. So uh, it's called Issei Bolcha. So uh, it comes from the Issei region of Mie Prefecture in Western Japan. So right next to Nara and, and Kyoto and um, like heading towards Nagoya as well. Um, and bolcha means stick tea. Uh, so it's very similar to kukicha, which is made from the stems of the tea leaves. Um, this is also made from the stems, but it is roasted like a hojicha. So it's called bolcha or stick tea. And where it comes from, uh, Ise is very, very famous in Japan. Not for tea making. Uh, Mie Prefecture is not really known for having <laughs> the best tea or anything, but uh, Ise, or the city of Ise, uh, is famous for its Ise Jingu, or Ise Grand Shrine, um, which has a history of going back over 2,000 years. So according to tradition, it was founded um, in the fourth in 4 BC but more realistically uh, it was uh, or at least the first building that uh, was built there permanent permanently was uh, uh, built by em Emperor Tenmu in uh, around the 600s um, so at Issei shrine uh, in the Naiku or the inner shrine uh, Amaterasu Omikami, or the, the sun goddess. Uh, and she is like one of the main gods in Shintoism. Uh, she's enshrined there. And in the outer shrine, the Geku is Toyoke, Toyoke no Omikami, or no Omikami, I think. And he's the god of agriculture. Um, so it's a cool little. Uh, um, area the cool little town um but another interesting thing is that the shrine is rebuilt every 20 years so um this is in accordance to to sort of tradition but also to keep uh like carpentry uh, alive within the culture so every 20 years uh the whole shrine is rebuilt um and the last time i went in 2015 Oh no, I went in 2013, I think, and they were rebuilding it or just, um, like, had just rebuilt it. And then when I went in 2015, it had been rebuilt and I was able to, um, to walk around there, um, which is awesome. I happened to run into, like, a random internet friend that I knew through Hardcore and in Instagram there with her children. Um, so it was, a it was a very, very random, but I went with my friend, Phil, uh, who I, who was a coworker at my job in Japan and his girlfriend at the time, Jasmine. Um, and we were all living sort of in the Kobe area and went out to, to Issei, which was a good trip. It was a good, like three hours or so, um, into the heart of like the middle of nowhere, really in, in Mie. But um, another cool little town near Issei was uh, Futami. Uh, and in Futami is the Meo to uh, Iwa, the married uh, rocks. So if you've ever seen the images of Japan, if you see a big rock and a small rock tied together uh, with a rope with like little papers on it, uh, that's, that's the Meo to Iwa. Um, uh, and it was one of the places I had always wanted to go when I when I eventually moved to Japan. And um, there's a shrine that surrounds it. And on the day we went there, um, it was a very stormy day. So there were waves crashing right up into the shrine, which is right next to the, the, the water there. So um, it was kind of scary, to be honest. You know, I'm a, I'm a Bronx kid. Like, I don't really mess with the ocean so that was kind of uh 
scary, but um, yeah, it was good times. Uh, so this tea reminds me of of that day and, and my um, good times with my friends uh, when I was living in Japan. So I'm gonna uh, have some tea and uh, hopefully have a good night.